Hey guys, it's Keith with Bob CNC. Welcome to Shop Talk. And I'm here with my best friend Robert. And I'm here with my best friend Keith. And we're going to talk about speeds and feeds. It's just dear to my heart. It is. Yeah. Okay. Not really. Okay. Well, no, we have a lot of guys over with questions about, you know, how fast can I cut this? I was talking to a guy yesterday who visited the shop. Right. He was wondering how fast he could go through hard maple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't have an answer. Yeah. Because I haven't done that yet. I wouldn't have an answer either. No. Yeah. But anyway, back in the back in the old days when right. you started. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and spindle speeds were I mean, we've got spindle speeds now. We're at what? Between thirteen and twenty three thirty. 30,000? Yeah, okay. so, yeah. Yeah, and the machines you've worked with. Yeah, my Bridgeport at home, I mean, it says 4,000, but you'd be crazy to run it at that. It's like 3,000, maybe 3,500 most. Yeah, old school was, is since you didn't have very good spindle speed, and feeds and speeds are kind of tied together, Right. you would make really deep passes and just take your time and go, right? So it was just a different philosophy altogether. With newer machines, I mean, including in the industry, you know, the, the half a million dollar machines, right? Uh, that's no longer true. You have really uh, fast spindle speeds like you do on a CNC router, different machine, but uh, right. your your feed rates now are tremendously fast. However, your depth of cut is fairly shallow comparatively, right? So uh, you can actually save more time, less wear and tear on the machine and the bits by cutting at a really fast feed rate while doing a, shallower, a cuts. shallower cuts, right? So. Uh, uh, there's speeds and feeds calculators out there. Um, you can find your favorite one. However, for CNC routers, they're not really made for that. How about this? Okay. The difference, you know, because you know it's a different machine, a commercial CNC versus like one of our kits. Yep. What is the primary difference between a router and a mill? Well, a router and a mill, I mean, they're just made for two different purposes. So my Bridgeport, the max speed it will go is like 120 inches a minute, but it's got uh, some stepper motors that uh, are bigger than our spindles. I can't, they're NEMA 44s or 54s, I can't remember, but they're, shoot, they're like six inches around and maybe yep. eight inches tall, pull about 12 amps a piece. But it'll, I can take a one inch bit and I can hog through a piece of steel, right? So it's just, it's, it's a different uh, machine altogether. It's 3,500 pounds, this, this Bridgeport Series 1, right? It's, it's super rigid. Right, and uh, I don't normally worry about uh, deflecting uh, the bridge port. I worry about deflecting the bit. But when you're when you're looking at a commercial scene, um, commercial machine mm -hmm. in a woodworking setting, yeah, you're generally not dealing with a router, or are you dealing with a router? Actually, if you're cutting metals, you don't want to even deal with a router. There are some machines that will cut like your uh, aluminums or, or those the softer metals. However, you're you're never ever, or I have not seen. Uh, results that compare to a mill. So there's there's just a difference. I mean, uh, when you cut aluminum, everything has to be just right. And one of those things that has to be just right is that uh, that piece that you're cutting has to be solid to whatever you're cutting it on. If there's some vibration or things that moving around, uh, it, you're, you're going to get a bad edge. Can you cut aluminum on a CNC router? Yes. Are you going to get the same results that you would on a mill? No. Can you cut steel on a router? No, nah, spindle speed's too fast. Uh, maybe there's somebody that's doing it, but I, I have not seen it, or I have not seen any successful parts doing that. So uh, routers are typically made for wood and plastics, right, or composites. Uh, again, you can cut aluminum on them, right, but you should know the speeds and feeds and what you're what you're doing, and then you should uh, make sure that you're not expecting the same results. For well, and you better be prepared for lots of practice. Yeah. So there are, again, we were talking about this uh, the other day, there's speeds and feeds calculators, right, that you can go and you, you put in the, or you can just learn the equations and do it yourself, right? And most of those are built for mills. There, there's a few of them now that are coming out that are addressing the spindle speeds and the router speeds. And, you know, you've got people that say that you could take full depth of the bit, and some people say you should take half bit. And there's a surface uh, speed, all kinds of stuff. But the bottom line is, is there's not really a, a good one that I've seen that is for small hobby based CNC routers. Maybe some cabinet shop routers, right? But uh, but not anything. If you're going to spend you know the ten grand or less, right, on a CNC router, 
yeah, you're probably not going to be covered in that. So what do you do? You really learn by experience. Well, then what are your basic recommendations for speed and feed with the Evolution Series? Well, so the, we tested uh, John and, and we were trying to be aggressive to, you know, get some, see what we could tear up. We tested at 100 uh, inches per minute at like a one eighth inch depth per pass. And it'll do that. I don't know that I would recommend that all day or not, but uh, what we don't want you to do is think that I'll be okay if I just take my time and go slow. Because if you run a bit at 27,000 RPM and you're running five inches or 15 or 20 inches a minute, you're just gonna burn up the bit really fast and then you're not gonna get really good results. So the bottom line is, is we want you to start off at really high feed rates, 40 or 50, and then a shallow depth, uh, maybe a, a 32nd of an inch or a 16th of an inch, just to get the feel of it. And then once you get some experience with the type of wood that you're working, the type of bit that you purchased, uh, then you can increase those and say, okay, here's, here's a, 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 good, a good speed for me. What's the difference then between the Evolution Series and the KL Series? Well, the KL Series is a lot more rigid, it has the same router, but the Evolution Series is not limited by the horsepower of the router. Uh, I actually had a customer that has the KL44 that was uh, taking a one inch bit and milling things flat, right, for a customer. And uh, he was actually uh, taking off enough to actually uh, dog the uh, router for a little bit. So to me, yeah, take about half the pass, go a little bit faster and you'll be better. And we talked about that. So with the KL7 though, uh, you'd be able to run probably the full bit depth and at uh, 100 to 200 inches per minute, it'll be, uh, it'll, it'll be a lot faster than the uh, Evolution series. Um, we run, but, but again, when we run them in our shop, it's to, to, for bit life. So we're trying to get the bit to last the whole day, right? So we run ours at a little over 0.1 inches at 140 inches per minute. So uh, that kind of gives you an idea. Uh, we do have customers that are running them a lot faster than that when they're doing step over cuts uh, in the 300 inches per minute right. range. So, uh, so yeah, so really the bottom line is, is for wood router, there's no calculator that I've found that's gonna give you uh, super results. Uh, I thought about putting one together for ours and I may do that eventually like in a spreadsheet or something, but uh, I used to code in Visual Basic back in another life. Maybe I'll see if I can find my own Visual Basic and see if I can pull that one off. But, but really it's, uh, it's some easy calculations, maybe a chart. Uh, so- uh, uh, You're such a show off. <laughs> You don't, you don't program in Visual Basic? No, I, I can't program my remote for the well, TV. Well, I can't do that either. Oh, okay. Yeah, whenever I <laughs> want to watch TV, I go, hey, honey, can you turn this on? Please. Can you yeah, get okay. on the Chiefs channel? <laughs> it's game starting. You no, know, you just lost all the Patriots fans out there. Sorry, Patriots fans. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, guys, if you have any questions about speeds and feeds, you can get a hold of us at the help desk at bobcmc.com. Yeah, ask Keith what they are because he's got the most experience. Oh, uh, just tons. <laughs> tons. Okay. Till next time, guys. Bye. You're killing me.